In this video, we will show you how to fix blue screen of death stop error C000005. The C000005 error is a Windows system error. This exception error occurs when an application or driver executes a processor command that refers to the memory outside the space allocated to that particular process by Windows. There are various possible causes for this error. This error can either be caused by corrupt data tables, bad network connections, or printer or video driver errors. In this tutorial, when we tried to open Microsoft Visual Fox Pro, we came across this error. Now let's troubleshoot the problem step by step and find where the actual problem exists. First of all, open the Start menu and right-click on Computer. From the drop-down menu, select Properties. With that done, the System Properties will open up. Over here, go to the left pane and click on the Device Manager. As a result, the Device Manager will open up. Over here, we will check our video driver. In order to do that, we will right-click on it and then click on the Update Driver Software option. In the next window, click on the first option which searches automatically for updated driver software. This option will provide you with the very best driver for your video driver. Over here, simply click on the Close button as the best driver is already installed and you will return to the Device Manager. Now let us take a look at the Network Adapters option. You'll notice that there is black downwards arrow signs. In order to see the problem, right-click on it and you'll notice that the Enable option will appear in the drop-down menu. This means that your network card was disabled. In order to enable it, simply click on the Enable option and close the Device Manager. Now we'll check the printer. In order to do so, click on the Start button and from the Start menu, click on Devices and Printers. As a result, the Devices and Printers window will open. Over here, you'll see that there is a caution mark on the default printer, which means that there is some problem in the default system printer. Right-click on it and click on the Remove Device option. A pop-up window will open. Click on the Yes button to remove the device. Now let's select the default printer for your system. In order to do so, right-click on the properly installed printer and select the Set as Default Printer option. Now when we try to reopen a report in Microsoft Visual Fox Pro, this time around we'll incur no error whatsoever. 